In this overview, we are going to review how to create line lists using data from multiple program stages. Before we demonstrate how this data is displayed in the line listing app, let us review a record in the capture app that has data from multiple stages. In this example, we have a COVID-19 surveillance program that has four separate stages. This includes stages with repeated events. When creating line lists for multiple stages, we need to exclusively use the enrollment input type, as this will give us access to data across the entirety of the program. To create this line list, we will need to select the following items. First, we select enrollment as the input type, followed by our program. Now we need to select our program dimensions. Start with the organization unit and time dimensions. For our data dimensions, we want to select a mix of program attributes as well as data elements from multiple program stages. We can use the search and filter boxes to find these items. Let's start with our program attributes. We can set the filter type and add them to our line list. Next, let's find our data elements. Let us set the type filter to data element. The data elements we can select include the data elements from all of the stages within the program we have selected. Since we are using data elements across program stages, we just need to find them and add them to our line list. With enrollment as the input type, when you select data elements, you can see there is also a stage filter that we can use to help us in finding our necessary data elements. Let us use this and add the data elements we need to our line list. You can see that by going through this process, we are able to add data elements from multiple program stages to our line list. Let us update the line list in order to see our result. What can we take away from this table? We can clearly see that the data from each stage is being shown based on the data items that have been selected. But we must keep in mind that data from stage two lab request and stage three lab results will be the most recent event data only. This is how repeated data is handled in the line listing app when using enrollment as the input type. To get data for prior events, you can do this by adding information using the repeated events option within the data element filter. For example, I can select the lab test reason data element, navigate to the repeated events tab, change the most recent events to two, and update the line list. We will now see information from these repeated events when present. Please refer to our video on how the line listing app handles repeated event data for more information if needed. If you are dealing with programs that do not have any repeated events, then you will not need to worry about what the most recent event was when reviewing your information, as each program stage will only have one event. Also note the date. Each of the events that we have selected data from potentially has different event dates, but they are not displayed here. Instead, we see the case registration date. This is the date that is collected during the enrollment process. Since we must use enrollment as the input type when selecting data from multiple stages, only dates associated with the enrollment can be used to filter our data. In this overview, we reviewed how the line listing app handles data across multiple program stages. We look forward to hearing your comments on this app. If you are interested, note that we have several other videos demonstrating further features on using the line listing app.
or any questions or feedback, please do not hesitate to contact us on the Community of Practice.